I had a day in lab where I, I had this idea that maybe I'll take um, the peptides that I'm working on for a completely different idea and just test them and see if they have this unique activity. And it just so happened that one random peptide that I'd made two years ago um, had this activity and it snowballed into this completely different project that is now quite exciting. This is a similar class of drug as, for example, Ozempic and Mongiorno, um, and the treatment would be very similar to those drugs. Hi, I'm Beth Fisher, Director of Life Science Intellectual Property at WORF. I had the pleasure of helping this team with their high potential technology. If you're a UW-Madison researcher and you have an invention to disclose to WORF, feel free to contact me or use the information on your screen or in the description below. Now, stay tuned to learn more about this work. My name is Riley Morris. I'm a graduate student in chemistry in the Gelman Lab. I'm Sam Gelman. I'm a professor of chemistry at the University of Wisconsin. This uh, technology is about uh, a new way to create molecules that might someday lead to new kinds of human drugs. There are two specific receptors that um, we're trying to target with a single molecule. One is called GLP-1, one is called GIP, not very descriptive for the, the, the average person. Um, but we want to develop a single molecule that will activate both receptors at once um, as a, an effective way to address type 2 diabetes and obesity and potentially other uh, human diseases as well. So this is a related class of agonists to, for example, Ozempic and Mongiorno, which have been in the news recently. So an agonist is an active compound that binds to a receptor and causes a uh, intracellular change. In treatment of type 2 diabetes, uh, development of different agonists for the GLP-1 receptor is important for uh, different amounts of release of insulin um, and for people with insulin resistance. The development of uh, tirzipatide, which the brand name is called Mongiorno, it, uh, involved the use of what we call the Frankenstein strategy. So uh, they took the two different agonists which activate these two different receptors and kind of Frankensteined it together. Um, but our approach is much simpler and straightforward, so we can directly modify the individual agonist to activate it at the opposite receptor, which hasn't been done before. And so with this one simple modification, instead of multiple trial and error Frankenstein approach, we can develop these new therapeutics, which could be particularly interesting for treatment of several different diseases. This technology has the opportunity to hit multiple different receptors um, in this class B family of GPCRs that we're targeting. And uh, this is exciting because it reaches beyond the scope of type 2 diabetes into perhaps things like short bowel syndrome and uh, diseases targeted by these other receptors in this family and not just GLP-1 and GIP. This discovery that Riley made by accident, as she explained, is um, very exciting because of, uh, from an intellectual level, it seems to suggest there are paths of communication through these receptor proteins that maybe hadn't been appreciated. And there are ways to um, try to extend this design strategy to other combinations of receptors and, and other diseases. And we're very eager to, to move in that direction as well. Right now, we're working on creating full profiles of these drugs just to see, you know, the full extent of what they do at their receptor and at the opposite receptors that they might also hit, um, and working on developing uh, a, bun a family of these different uh, agonists so that we can have a bunch of different profiles that we can hopefully test and fully characterize. Well, I would just like to underline the importance of chance in this work and in all science. Um, the, the, there are so many problems in our world that need to be addressed and, and scientists certainly take steps to try to address those problems, but still the, the blue sky approach, the, 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 the question that just pops into your mind, what, 
could it be possible that, or what if, um, that quality of science is really beautifully uh, exemplified here in Riley's work. And, and, um, and it's just an important aspect of science for the general public to understand. Hi, my name is Rafael Diaz, Licensing Manager at WARF. If you like what you just saw and want to learn more about these high potential technologies, please get in touch with us with information on your screen. And don't forget to like us and subscribe for more videos from WARF.